We are in award seasons already. We've just got the Golden Globe nominations as well. It yeah. feels like a constant award season, doesn't it? Like, and it what goes season? For so like, long. It's just like, what are you. Well, we're it's starting. Like, when's it. the break time? Exactly. And you've been yeah. doing this so many times. When you hear award season, what does it feel like again? Is it something that you. <laughs> did you just vomit in your mouth? I did a little bit. <laughs> just threw up just a little bit. I got it back down. I played golf years ago with this golf pro, and he told me, it was really interesting. He goes, you know, he was from Japan, and he goes, okay, so here, at the top of your swing, just say, what the f***? <laughs> <laughs> he goes, because you can't, you can't control, what, you know what I mean? And it was a great lesson, and like, there are things that, most of this whole life we can't control. So we have to just do our best and work hard and, and be good people and to one another, and then at a certain point, you gotta say, what the f***? I love yeah. that, that is absolutely fantastic. Fight or flight scenario, when something happens, do you also go up and uh, try and solve it, or do you whoosh, get out of there? Or are you like me, and you undergo fright, which is actually a thing, and you just freeze, <laughs> which is the worst thing that could happen. <laughs> Yay. I don't, uh, I, I don't know how I fit in. I... Not an actor, never have. Not me, and I won't. I could do it. Just but you look know. nice. Thank you. You could do it. I could do it, I could do it. Put you on the train <laughs> and head you towards the <laughs> villain. Do you know what I would do? I'd be like, nah, 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 and then he'd shoot me. I remember growing up and we're all so scared of wasps and now you get to be one and it's the most kick-ass thing ever. They're pretty, I mean, everyone was afraid of the wasp and I would be afraid, literally afraid of the wasp if she walked in the room. I'd be like, oh, hi, you are intimidating and wonderful. <laughs> so I kind of think, hear me out here, Ant-Man and the wasp, really should take place in Australia. Hmm. Because there, all the insects are trying to kill you as well. Oh, right. Yes, exactly. <laughs> red back <laughs> spiders, I'm looking at you. The red back, red back, if you don't go to the hospital in about two hours, you die. God. Well, I, I, I'm sort of familiar with the fact that Australia is full of very deadly and venomous creatures. Which That's is why you're so you tough. Me. <laughs> <laughs> and the notion of tag is a very competitive one, yeah, surely, right? Sure. Sure. Would you say that you are competitive? Why don't you ask the people I've defeated over the years? Well. I can't. They're dead. <laughs> you get it. Interview over. Let's go get dinner and discuss. <laughs> Paint me the picture of how this all came about for you personally. When you were first introduced to the concept and the movie, how it was like, was it a conversation with an agent? Did you see the script first? And what, what stage were you like, I'm in? I got sent the script and, and my manager at the time said, this could be funny if they get the right director. They got Jeff Thompson, who I've worked with before, and uh, and I looked at the script, and, and I had a good amount of words to say. So I was like, okay, I'm going to say a bunch of stuff. And then I didn't find out it was about tag until I got to Atlanta. Three weeks into production. Yeah, I was like, this is about... It's... Why are these guys running up and touching my arm? Yeah. There's one word in the title, it's tag. Who reads, the, who reads the title page? Professional right. actors start on page two. Yeah, I read the first, I don't like to read the first page because I don't want to have bias about the who wrote the script, you know? Smart. I want to read the script stop with uh, just an open mind. <laughs> she put us in our place, we yeah. gotta stop that. She okay. was right. <laughs> who snaps? Anyone? Nobody. Yeah. You two. Not me. He does. <laughs> That's not how you win. No. That's not a winner. No, it's not a winner. That's a loser. <laughs> stop that. Who what? snaps? I'm with her. <laughs> vibes. Vibes in the... Um, look, what about it for you? The premise, like, when you first heard about it, was your immediate reaction? Pass. Yeah? Yeah. No, thank you. I pass. And then what happened? They I said, thought you were passing on her question. No, I was oh, Okay, both? <laughs> no. So what happened to me is I know the director, and he said, I think I could do a movie called Tag. And I said, I think that's a pass. And he said, it's based on a true story. And I said, for real? And he said, yes, there's real guys who did this for 30 years. And then I saw a little documentary on the guys and it was really kind of funny. And what I, I, but I, I'm not a guy who my childhood, I didn't play tag and I'm not playing it now. So that part isn't what pulled me in. What pulled me in is that these guys have committed to it for so many years and it's actually kept them together and it's kept them together through actual dark and weird times. They have to play the game. So I like doing a bit when the bit is really funny, but I also like doing a bit when everybody thinks the bit is not funny. And I like doing a bit when everyone comes back to it. And if you keep committing to that bit, is all of a sudden it gets better and better and better. <laughs> and that's what TAG is. And these guys just decided to do this. And no matter what, they have to do it. And that's when I said, all right, I'm more interested. Let's see who's involved. And then we got such a great cast. And by the end, you know, why not make this movie? Oh, God, you're going to sneeze again.
Single? Hold on. You want to start with a white or do you want just a single? Single from the get go would be like, it's gone. It's gone. Look, look at the light. To the light. I know. I fed John your burn your retina. <laughs> Like, that's mom. the sun. <laughs> Sorry. That's no, you can't look at that light. You will burn your retina. Like Maud Garrett. Ah! <laughs> 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 what? You had to watch it. I was right. I looked. Oh, by the way, I do have dots. <laughs> really? Oh, I, oh. Well, I'm, they're not burned, but I. Yes, that was a bad a joke. <laughs> Let's do it. Lucky like already. I like it. You two are going to get along. Just dominate. Yeah. Just crush. I uh, like your, both of your arms on day three. What the hell happened on set for you to break both your arms? Well, I feel like there was. He said something he shouldn't have. He said something he shouldn't have. I wasn't challenged enough, actually. I was quite bored. That's it. Uh, Basically, Ritter can't handle comedy. He does all these action movies. Oh, I'm a big tough guy. You get on a comedy set. You find out where the real pain hold your own. is. Yeah, if you can't tell a joke, just, just hurt yourself or try to kill yourself. <laughs> No. Try to get out of the movie. You were, you were trying to. <laughs> I was surrounded by comic geniuses and I was, I was outmatched, so I feel like I should probably just die or get myself out of this. <laughs> Engendered movie. some sympathy. I need to get out of this situation. He fell situation. off a 20 foot tall stack drop. of chairs yeah. and, uh, and landed on his hands. And yeah. You did that and then, and then, and then, you know, yes, then Owen Wilson would replace me and I'd go off and do adventures. <laughs> and and you know, it would have been a much better movie, probably, but I stuck it out somehow, some way. Wow. And that's how it goes, you know. Um, how did you get around filming with two broken arms in a game of tag after that? How, how does John M get out of bed every morning? That's a great question, John. One, leg, smile at, and one leg at a time. That's right. That's one leg at a time. <laughs> That's right. That's what I do. Well, I'm imagining. It's moment by moment. Yeah, moment by moment. That's all you got to do, right? He really toughed it out, I will say. All kidding aside, all it was kidding an, aside, an impressive comeback if, if, from a very serious <laughs> yeah. injury. If what had happened to Jeremy happened to me, First, I would cry for five days straight. <laughs> then I would be it hiding sucks. in my hotel room, and uh, I would be—I'd probably shut down the movie for a month. And Jeremy was back on set in four hours. Yeah. 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 I want to talk about the fact that you have sleight of hand practice. You were learning, literally, how to fool and trick and be con artists. What were some of the things that you learned that? You well, had a lot of fun. Ours was cut out of the movie, mm. <laughs> but Nora, on the other mm. hand, because they suck. No, no, no. <laughs> because yeah, no. we could mm. so badly, but you. No, you did. Oh yeah, no, I could, I could steal a watch. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Take a card. Yeah. No, we learned. We, we were coached. Yeah, and I, I'm not very coordinated in my normal life, but Constance is, and and that is so you. not true. What do you You're mean? You're totally coordinated. I mean, I fell in the toilet last I night. Apart from in the, the toilet. It was very water? dark in the small. That's because you were drunk. That's I got was, nothing to I do with very, coordination. I was on, the, on yeah. the juice, yeah. I had to walk up the stairs, those met stairs, in this dress and not look down while I was doing it because I had to keep my... That's hard. It's yeah. so That's a, a really hard. underrated skill that as an yes. actress has hey, to learn. Coordination. Walking yeah. down the steps. <laughs> but I, I was walking right? behind the Kardashian sisters who... I, 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 stopped looking at Annie where I was supposed to be focused and I started watching I go, how are they not looking down? And I was just like, you could see me like looking at Kim and then Kylie. I would have like, loved you to fall on the Kardashians. I was so that, close. That would have made the movie. My face was just going <laughs> to plant like right there. like a bowling ball kind of, yeah. <laughs> but they were so elegant and calm and breezy going, I don't know how. And then we had to, remember that day we had to walk down the stairs? No, no. And Gary starts yelling and he goes, stop doing that. Whatever it is, you're stop doing that. And I said, Gary, what were you doing? I'm in heels. I'm trying not to die as I walk down the 700 Met stairs. And it was like, you do it. You I, put heels I took on. my shoes off holding my shoes down the stairs. See? Gary let me. I wasn't that smart. I could not do it. Mm -hmm. I was, I, I was going to eat it. I think you did it. Did you do it? I, well, we obviously no, got it. I was a in tape. the kitchen. I went out the back. I was on the concrete. How did you guys get out of? Yes. <laughs> so we risked our lives while you guys were. Yeah, no, it was in my contract. I was holding my shoes, so I was very. I had a no nudity clause in my contract. You guys, I had a no. I was so I had a nudity that. clause in my contract, but they didn't take me up on it. You'd think all the man hours that went into the detailing of the dress, and yet they still you were able to. You should wear that to the premiere. Yeah, that's a really good you idea. Go fish that. it out of the Warner Brothers. That's a pun in itself too. Why don't you wear it? Go fish it out. Yeah. But that's a pun. Yeah. I would wear mine again. Oh, can I wear mine? We should, I think we should. Okay, did you? Sandy, can I wear mine? You can, I think this is precious. This is the dynamic. I is everyone know, looking at you, Mama? What am I, the mother? Yeah. <laughs> yes, you may wear that dress. Thanks. Submission granted. Yeah.